Robert, this is Duke. It's 9.05 on Monday morning. I'd like to talk to you as soon as possible. Please call me when you get back. Oh, Duke. What's wrong? I, I looked for you in your bedroom and you were gone. I thought you had left. No, I've been up for a while. Oh, I just woke up in this horrible nightmare. I just I keep thinking about that hit man out there and I... Camelia, I told you you were safe here. I don't feel safe anywhere. Specifically. I told you already. I don't I know what you said. You said today. I want to know when. Why exactly you, when. Why don't you try and relax? Relax? I'll well, relax. What's going on here? I'll... You guys got a complaint? I'll give you something to complain about. Settle you down. Isn't there something we can do to make sure that that hitman keeps away? I've already taken steps. You have? I called Robert. I've asked him to help. D did he say he would? Well, I didn't actually get through to him. According to the message on his machine, he's out of town on a cane. Oh, no. And do you know how long he's going to be gone? No, I don't know. Duke, we can't, we can't just sit here. We've got to do something. I mean, that, that hitman could know that we're here. He could have followed us. Nobody followed us. The assassin is not going to get to you here. He got to me at the diner. He won't get through the security. Victor here. Jerome lied to you. Angus died for nothing. That mob family is not going to be satisfied until I am dead. How many times do I have to tell you you are safe with me? Duke, I can't stay locked up here forever. Eventually, I have to go out, and when I do, they're going to be waiting for me. I don't intend to let just anyone take pot shots at you. I'm going to find out who's behind this. Oh, you know who's behind this. Yeah. OK. I'll send it in. It's, uh... Duke. Shh. I don't believe Victor Jerome would lie to me. He's got nothing to gain by it. I'd only confront him with it. And he would keep on lying to you. OK, then I'll go confront him now. I'll go today. No, no, Duke, I don't. I I'm don't want to be Sam. alone. I'm going to ask Sam to stay here with you. OK? He'll be OK, I promise. OK. You OK? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Come here. Hi, Camelia. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Uh, not really, no. Look, I know this is going to be hard, but I've got to ask you some questions about what happened last night. And now that things have calmed down just a bit. Meaning you haven't found him yet? No. But that's why I'm here, because I'm hoping that you remembered something, anything, about this guy. Sam, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, you want me to come back another time? No problem. I'm just off duty and was cleaning up some loose ends. No, this is a personal favor. Oh, sure. I, uh, I have a theory about the attacks on Camellia. Nothing I can bring to the police. It's only send you out on any loose ends. Would you mind staying here with Camellia this morning? No, not at all. It'll take some time to get through the questions I have, and I also brought a book of mugshots we can go through. OK, thanks. Pl please stay, Duke. Listen, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You'll be safe here with Sam. Wait in here, Mrs. Wainwright. Mrs. Cartwright. Whatever. Has my client been informed of my arrival? Oh, yeah, he's been warned. Warned? I'm Mr. Barrett's attorney, not his prosecutor. Yeah, will you be wanting some coffee, maybe, Mrs. Wheelwright? Cartwright, no, thank you. Is this your first time in Mohawk Prison? Yes. Then maybe I should tell you about the rules of the institution. Oh, please, spare me the rules, Robert. Gladly, this uniform's pure mirror on this work. I want to know the drill, and I want to know when I'm going to be seeing Barrett. All right. First, I've got to uh, clear everything for the last time with the warden. Yeah. Now, Barrett will then be brought in to you to supposedly confer with his attorney. How long do you think we should confer? Give it your own time. Decent leeway, all right? Then call for the guard. I'll be waiting outside. OK. 
Okay, go on. We bring in the guard, one of our people. Barrett will supposedly overpower him and grab his gun. Putting us at his mercy. Yeah, except for one thing. Barrett's gun's gonna be made out of licorice. I mean, I'm not taking any chances here. I don't want the guy to get creative. Good. What happens next? Well, Roger will use us as cover. We make the escape get outside, and there's a car. Sean's driving. This is very good. Mm. All taken from the annals of the WSB. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Tried and true. Everything's been arranged for Sean's release. Don't worry about Sean. The warden has it in hand. Now, there's a car out there. He's arranged all of that. See any hitches in this plan? Even the DVX couldn't trace this one back to the WSB. So what are you worried about, then? <sighs> Didn't think it was that obvious. Just to me. I don't know. I just can't what? quite put my finger on it. It's a, it's a gut feeling. There's something wrong here. Be real careful. Business with Mr. Jerome. Not today, you don't. Get going. I don't take orders from you. Get up my way. That's enough. What are you doing here? I've got business with you. We settled our business. Yeah, I thought so too, but you lied to me. Veronica's hitman came after Camilla again last night. What the hell are you talking about? You mean you didn't know? I give you my word, I take care of him. I thought I had. Nobody makes me lose face and gets away with it. So what do you intend to do about it? I'll stop him. You have to find them first. It's only a matter of time. Camille and I, we don't have any time. I want to see Veronica face to face. You can't. I've sent her to Europe. Perhaps she'll develop a sense of obedience there. I'll go back to Port Charles and I'll wait for your call. You do intend to keep the promise you made to Angus, don't you? You'll hear from me very soon. Lavery? Yeah? I got some advice for you. Victor Jerome's on his way out. Who are you? Somebody in the know. The mob's about to get themselves a new boss. Do you have any more words of advice? Yeah. Camilla Mackay is on her way out. Upset me. Camilla's gonna die soon. Nothing, huh? No. Okay, well, let's just look at it one more oh, time. Oh, what's the point, Sam? If I didn't see the attacker's face, how am I going to identify him? You must have caught just a glimpse of him. He attacked me from behind. I, I screamed, and then Ruby and Amy came, and then the man was gone. Well, Ruby didn't remember much about him anyway. Amy didn't see him at all. This guy is real clever. Tell me the truth, Sam. Without a description or fingerprints, there's no way the police can trace this guy down. It's pretty tough. It's impossible. I feel like one of those targets in a carnival, like I'm a sitting duck or something. I, I wish I could help you. I know, I know you do. I, you've been very helpful, and I really do appreciate it. You know, Duke has been a very big help. Yeah, well, I hate doing this to him. Camelia, this is not your fault. Oh, yes, this is my fault. This is all of my fault. I brought it all on myself. If I just had never gotten in touch with that reporter, do you think this has something to do with what happened no. in Canada? No, no, it has nothing to do with that. That's not what I meant. I, I hey. did, that is all hey, hey, finished okay, okay, and I'm done sorry. with. I, I meant I never should have talked to Duke in the first place. I should have taken care of this myself and, and, and left Fort Charles without involving him. Well, first of all, it's perfectly likely that you'd want to tell Duke. And secondly, I don't understand why you're being so hard on yourself. I'm not the only one. Somebody else out there wants me dead.
Excuse me. Are you uh, Tracy Cartwright? Yes. I was told you'd be here. I'll need to see your pass. Oh, it's all right. Everybody's sharing my pass. I was cleared by the outside guard. I have to double check. Is there a problem? We'll see. Please show me your other papers. Would you mind telling me what all this is about? I work here, Miss Cartwright. I'm just doing my job. So am I. I take it you've never handled a client in prison before. Otherwise, you wouldn't be making this so difficult. Well, I haven't been to this prison before. However, I have handled clients in other facilities. I was just assigned to this case. Does that answer your question? Your client had a different lawyer originally. Oh, yes. I am well aware of that. I guess Roger Barrett wasn't happy with his representation. I have no idea of the details. However, I was assigned this case by the court. This is your first meeting with Barrett? Yes. I, I see no reason for these questions. Your papers, please. That will clear up any possible problems. But there shouldn't be any problems. I mean, why don't you speak to the warden? He will verify my position here. I need to see your papers. That won't be necessary. Miss Carthrite's papers are in order. You're new here, aren't you? Yes, I was transferred from Austin. There seems to be some problem in my being here. What problem? She's been cleared. Everything's fine. It's following orders. Who's? One of the section people. Well, the warden has cleared her. Her papers are in order, and I'm here to tell her about the prison procedure. Excuse me. I have seen many clients in other prisons before, and I really don't think any of this is very necessary. And I do wish to see Barrett extremely What do you think? Guy could be DVX. He doesn't trust anybody. Fishing like mad. Yeah, well, I don't like it. There's nothing we can do about him now. There is one thing. Give him as little time as possible to make mischief. The plan goes into effect immediately. Since you're doing all this pacing back and forth in the cell, you've probably clocked about 10 miles since you woke up this morning. Oh, yeah? How do you know I said that? Why don't you lighten up? The worst is still ahead of us. I'm fully aware of that. I know what's going on. That's what gets me. You're sitting here like this is another day in the park. Listen, buddy, and I use that phrase very, very loosely. I can't wait to get out of here because this place is not really my style. I don't understand why you're complaining because the WSB is going to save your neck. I will believe that when it happens. What the hell is that supposed to be? How the hell do I know? Huh? No, maybe I'm just a little nuts here. But you and this Robert Scorpio doing all this talking, how the hell do I know what's going on? This could be some kind of a setup. Prove it to me. This is hardly a time for second guessing. We have a plan, we put it in motion, and you're going to go along with it. Keep it up, Donnelly. Keep it up. This kind of forced talking will just make me not go along with it. Would you rather take your chances with the DVX? Because one thing for certain, your former cohorts will run true to form. They'll kill you, Barrett. Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe I can make a better deal with them. You don't really believe that, do you? Bad day at the office, Roger. Warden wants to talk to you, Donnelly, and your attorney's here to have a chat with you, so let's go. Uh, he's uh, having doubts about his new attorney. Well, let's sort that out. Follow me. This way. All right. Cartwright, this is Roger Barrett, your client. Mr. Barrett. Tracy. Is everything all right with Sean? Sean's with the warden now. How fast can we move? 
Well, we've got to give him time to uh, get out of the prison, get to the car, and why don't you have a seat, Roger? Trying to look like Tracy here is your ex-wife, trying to get alimony out of you, just in case someone walks in. What about this famous plan of yours? Let's call it workable. Let's call it successful. My precious life happens to be in your hands. Well, we're all taking risks, Mr. Barrett. Now, listen. Uh, sure. Listen very, very carefully. I will be leaving here shortly. I will then come back with another guard. He will be one of our people. Right. Okay. You will then, in your own clever and inimitable fashion, overpower this man and take his gun away from him. At which point, you will then use Tracy and myself as hostages. Are you with me so far? Go on. Right. You will then continue to use us as your shield and make good your escape. And what route do I take? All right, now, we're here. Now, you go straight out here to this exit. We've kept it simple. Should have land breadcrumbs along the way. Right. I think so. No. What's wrong? What? You two are moving way too fast for me. What's the complaint? Hey, I have to be sure I'm doing the right thing for myself. This doesn't sound right. Look, if we settled this earlier, either you cooperate with us, otherwise you're cannon fodder for the DVX. No, it's not as simple as that. What guarantees do I have from the WSB that I have any protection at all? I'm not going to be safe on the streets. Why do you think we went to so much trouble? Perhaps you wanted some information. What about after that? I'm out on the street. The DVX has a long arm, a long memory. You know that. Look, I thought that Donnelly told you about it. Donnelly, I have nothing in writing. Look, I've already got plans for your new ID, money, a whole new life. Okay, fine, fine. Tell me about this new protection oh, plan. Oh, on, do you think we could discuss this once we're out of here? Yes, I think. No, no, we're not going anywhere until I hear about this. We don't have time for any of this. That is just too bad. I'm not going anywhere until I know I have some kind of a life ahead of me. Something that new guard is a plant. What's your plan? We'll have to wing it. Be prepared for anything. We can't let Roger Barrett get out of this prison alive. How about watching some TV? Oh, no thanks. Want to listen to some music? <sighs> no. I must be driving you over the wall. I'm sorry, Sam. I. No problem. Duke. Any leads on that hitman? No, I didn't turn anything up. I'm sorry I tied you up, Sam. No problem. I got a chance to finish my report, and Camille and I looked through the book of mugshots, but we didn't have any luck. How are you doing? I'm fine. I I'm just glad you're back. I was worried about you. Anything to report to my boss about your trip? Such as? I don't know. Somebody you talked to, a name, anything? No. No, I told you I didn't turn anything up. No point in mentioning any names, is there? Well, what are we going to do? I wish there was something the police could do at this point, but we don't have anything to go on. Well, this is horrible. There's a hitman out there, and we can't do anything about it. I'm sorry to say this, Camellia, but until this guy makes another move, our hands are tied. Could Camellia possibly have a police bodyguard? Well, I'll ask. I highly doubt it, though, because we don't have that kind of manpower right now. Okay, we'll manage. Thank you. Listen, Camellia, take care of yourself. And, Duke, if you do get any leads, you'll be sure and call us, huh? Uh-huh. Thank you, Sam. Take care. Thanks, Sam. Bye-bye. Bye. You did talk to Victor, didn't you? Yes. Well, what did he say? He told me he kept his word. He admitted he had been double-crossed. He'll take care of the hitman this time. I believe him. Why do you believe him? He's a mob head. He's Angus's old enemy. I, I, how can you trust him to help us? I trust him to help himself. What do you mean? Victor Jerome is a classic case. He's a mob leader who likes to believe that his word is law. What he promises he can, he can deliver. If he can't, then he loses face. So you're saying he has to keep his promise in order to save his own pride? Yes. Yes, you'll call me as soon as the job's done. It will be soon, I can assure you. 
Duke, you don't think that Victor will have any problem finding this man? No, it won't be a problem. Then what is bothering you? I mean, it's obvious that something is bothering you. Tell me what it is. It's just another matter. Does it have to do with me, Duke? Duke, I want to know. I don't want you to keep anything back from me. I want you to tell me. All right. All right, after I left the restaurant, I heard something about Victor that did concern me. But who'd stopped me, he talked to me. He obviously knew who I was and what I was doing there. Now, he told me that Victor won't be head of the mob for so much longer. Is he stepping down? No, he's been removed. When? Imminently. Now, if Victor can get to that hitman within 24 hours, then everything will be okay. This whole thing will clear up. It could happen, you know. I can't live on ifs and coulds, Duke. Okay. Okay, let's end the suspense. We're leaving Port Charles. I've now given you the nuts and bolts of the protection program. Since we've concluded our business, we get started. Your file will be sealed in our records. Any trouble in the future, we don't know you. My pleasure, believe me. Come on, how are we doing for time? Sean must have left the warden's office by now. Mm-hmm. Give him 15 minutes to clear the prison and get to the car. During that time, you'll supposedly confer with your client, Mr. Yes. Barrett. You then reach for the phone. You call the guard. Enter the fall guy. You know the agent I'm talking about? I know about. my name, yes. All right. Good luck to us all. Good luck. Good luck. See you out there. Kelly's packs and things. Duke. There's no time for second thoughts. I want to know the truth about what happened in New York. I told you everything that Victor said. Then why don't I believe you, Duke? I know you're holding something back. What is it? Please just tell me. Listen, we're getting out of Port Charles. Nothing else matters. You but... always said that I would be very safe here with you. Now, what has changed your mind? All right. The hood threatened your life as well. Oh, my God. I won't let anything happen to you, I promise you. I'm being punished for what I've done. You know, Camilla, there's no time for the soul searching. Let's go. Come on. Walk past our friend there. When you get to the end of the corridor, start the fight. I mean, raise hell. We got to draw his attention away from the door. Okay. You're a liar! So serve it. I'll do more than if you don't come across with that money. Yeah. I want that pool, Dad! You lousy rat! Hey! Hey! Hey, come out, you two! Hey! Well, it's time. Ready. Yeah, let's go for it, partner. Okay. As soon as Robert comes in, you move fast. Now, the other agent will give you your opening. May you knock him out. Okay. Uh, yes, please could you send the guards in? The prisoner is ready to return to his cell. Thank you. <clears throat> Miss Carter, all set to go back to your cell? Is there a problem? No. Now, 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 freeze! 